everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to pin time your P7100 injection pump and advance the timing. And I will put a full description of how to do it, which way to turn the engine and everything and when to turn the engine and even the torque specs in the description below. So come along and we'll get this done. So you don't want your pump nut super tight, you just need it tight enough so that the pump will rotate with the engine. So now to find the timing pin on the pump, come over to the side and there's a plug right here. I think it's a one inch plug. So you pull this out and you will see this little guy sitting in there. Wash it off a of brake clean, but you can see there's a slot in the end of it. And if you look in here, while you're rotating the engine over, you will see a tab going around. So you want to rotate your engine clockwise, and if you look in that little hole, eventually, you will see a tab come around. Now that tab is the timing tab. So when you see that tab, what you want to do is you want to take your pin that you pulled out, turn it so the slot is facing the tab, and that tab will ride in the slot, and that's pin timing the pump. So a way to make sure you have it actually on there is you can just take a, piece, a set of pliers, you try to like wiggle it back and forth, like twist it. If it won't twist, then you know you have it on the tab. So once you have the pump pin timed, you wanna crack the nut off of the injection pump again. That's why you don't tighten it down too tight because you're gonna to have to take it off again. Install your gear removal tool again. Pop the nut off, or pop the gear off. It's not going to take much because we didn't actually torque it on there, we just had it tight enough to turn the pump over. And then you want to go to your timing pin or your timing plug hole. I take my finger and stick it in there and then rotate the engine clockwise slowly until I just feel the hump or the dimple coming around. And then once you feel the dimple coming around just on the edge of your finger. Take the plug, put it in, hold inward pressure on it, and then slowly rotate the cam over, or the engine over. And then there. So now we have the engine pin timed at stock timing. So it was 12 degrees, I think, 14 degrees. So if you wanted to keep it stock, all you do is you pull the plug all you do is pull the plug out of the injection pump, pop that out, put the cap back in, tighten down the injection pump nut to, I believe it's 155 foot-pounds. Pull, um, pull your timing plug out, put your O-ring back on, put it in, and then you're ready to go. But we're not leaving this one at 14 degrees, we're gonna bump it up. So I will pull the timing pin out because the timing pin in the pump really has nothing to do with what I wanna do. So I'm gonna have to remove this delivery valve holder here, pull the delivery valve out, and I have a dial indicator that I put in there to get it to the lift that I want. Okay, so set, to set your timing, or to advance it, I use a dial indicator kit that I bought uh, many years ago. It came with the socket to remove the delivery valve holder, came with a delivery valve adapter so you can put your dial indicator threaded right into here so you're riding on the cam of the P-Pump. The socket has a bunch of splines on it that slides over the delivery valve holder. So that just unscrews. Be super careful taking that out because there is a spring. There's a spring and a little plunger that is underneath of it. And there's a little shim between that spring and plunger. You do not want to lose any of these parts. So what I always do is I just put it back in the end of the delivery valve like this. 
So there's no way you can roll them around or lose it. And then I also put them in a tray. To get the delivery valve itself out, you take a magnet and put it down in. And the whole thing will come right out, right like that. So that there is what the delivery valves look like. Throw them in your tray. And then my set came with this adapter that threads into where the delivery valve was. You don't need to crank, you don't need to crank it down all the way. Just tighten up, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then this dial indicator. So this goes in here like that. And then there is a set screw that threads into the side to hold the dial indicator in there tight. The first thing you need to do is zero out your dial indicator. So to do that, you have to rotate the engine counterclockwise until the needle stops moving. So when you're rotating it counterclockwise or clockwise, what's happening is the, the lobe on the cam inside of the pump, the, the uh, dial indicator is riding on it and right now it's going down the lobe because the numbers are going down once it stops that means you're at the base of the lobe so right now you have zero out your dial indicator so just set the pin to zero which is right there So then we have the dial indicator zeroed. I like to take the pump nut off before I get it set where I want the timing. Just because if, if it moves while you're cracking the nut off, then it'll mess everything up. So I like to take the nut off before it's time to actually set the timing. So once you have your dial indicator zeroed and your nut off, since my gauge is in inches, you have to find a chart for lift in inches. The charts go by CPL. So the CPL is the Cummins parts list number. This one's CPL is 2174. And we're looking for 16 degrees timing. So we need 1929 thousandths of an inch lift. So set up the timing that we want, you gotta put it at 1,929 thousandths of an inch lift. So on the dial indicator, that is one fully time around. Take it up to 90 thousandths, and then 29. So one full revolution, the 929, which is somewhere around in here. Again, you're going clockwise. There's one time around. There's 930. So right there's where we want it. So that is 1930. So that should be around 16, 16 and a half degrees. So now we gotta pop the gear off of the pump again. Keep an eye on your dial indicator to make sure it doesn't move again. Move when you pop it off, though. So there we go. That's off. Dial indicator didn't move. So then you come around to the back where the timing pin goes in the cam gear. Turn it counterclockwise. Not super far, but enough that you can take the um, lash so in the gears where they mesh there's gonna be lash so there's some play in there what you need to do is you got to back it up far enough so you take the play out of it so like quarter turn on the crank is plenty and then you want to take your timing plug again put pressure against the cam gear with it and turn it clockwise till it pops in Alright, take your puller off, 
take one of the bolts for the puller, thread it in so you can grab the gear, kind of slide it back and forth. Then you want to pull it all the way out. Take a hold of the bolt, you just thread it in there, pull the gear back, take brake clean, spray the end really good. You take the brush there. And what that does is cleans off the taper because it's just a taper fit. So it's just pressing on there and you don't need want any oil on that or the timing could slip. Thread that on just tight enough to make it grip. Just like that. So our timing should be set at 16 degrees now. So to verify that, you have to pull the timing plug out of the back of the timing case. Like that. Turn it counterclockwise until the needle stops going down. Then turn it clockwise until the timing plug will go into the camshaft slot again and count how many times it goes around and see what we're at. It should stop around 19.30. There's a thousand. And we're locked in. 1930 right on so now that that is set didn't move you can do a final torque on the nut which is 155 foot pounds so you're probably gonna have to have a Johnny bar on the crank while you tighten that up it's also best to take the timing plug back out or if the gear moves you'll shear the little nipple off the end of it there we go our timing is set I can take the uh, Dial indicator out, take the adapter out, take our delivery valve, put it back in. Our delivery valve holder and put it back in with the uh, spring facing down and the uh, plunger end facing up. Tighten up the delivery valve holder. Take your timing plug and put your O-ring back on it. And then just slide that in. Oh, just till the O-ring's in. If you go too far, you'll rub against the cam. If you want, you can put a little dab of silicone on it just so it can't mop uh, back out. So thanks for watching this video on timing your P7100 pump on your 12 valve Cummins. Hopefully you found it informative and helped you figure out how to do it on yourself, on your own. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.